What's up everyone? Welcome to Buzzy Games. Buzzy Games Beth here. Today let's learn how to make checkpoints for your obby game or honestly any game at all. So what do I mean by checkpoints? So checkpoints are essentially generally you respawn at the last checkpoint that you have reached. So for example, I have this bunch of stages here. So once I've reached level stage number two and I die, then I'll be respawned at stage two rather than respawning at the very beginning like right now. And I don't want that because it can be pretty frustrating having to start over at the very beginning once you know when you've gotten so far in your game. All right, let's get into it. So go ahead and spawn in a part. For me, since I don't really like to see my checkpoint parts, I'm going to make sure that my transparency of my parts are one. And make sure to untick can collide because we want to go ahead and go through these blocks rather than going on top of it. Awesome, so I have a few stages here in my obby, so go ahead and add however many checkpoint parts that you need throughout your game. And then once you're done, go ahead and rename them in numerical order. So checkpoint number one, two, three, four, and so on. And then inside of our workspace, go ahead and add a folder. I'm sorry, in our explore page, go ahead and add a folder and then drag our checkpoint parts into that folder. And I'm gonna rename them to checkpoints. So the folder is now renamed to checkpoints. Cool. So inside of sort of script service, let's go ahead and add a script. Inside of our script, we have a variable which references the checkpoints folder inside of our workspace. And now we're gonna go ahead and create another function where we're going to create the leader stats where our value is stage. Awesome. And then we're going to have another function where anytime a player moves to a new checkpoint, then their leader stats value is going to be increased in increments of one, that plus one. Sweet. And that's it. Let's go ahead and test out our code or script to see if it works. So right now it says stage one, and I'm going to go ahead and complete this stage. And then now I'm on stage two and look at that on the leader stats value, it says stage two. Awesome, and you'll see that if I, you know, die, I will be responding to the second checkpoint, not at the very beginning, like how in the beginning of the video. Sweet, it works. Nice. So if you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like, leave a comment, and give us a subscribe. And as always, have fun creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.